Hey guys, what is going on? Lonely back here with a, another gameplay commentary for TF2. In this one you'll be seeing some scoot on Gravel Pit and some demo on Gravel Pit if we get there. Now for the topic of the day. Topic of the day is talking about the North American TF2 teams to I-52 LAN and as well as the new Highlander Open that's opening. Now, if you don't know what the I-52 is, it is like a big competition over in, most likely, Europe. And we want to send North Americans two teams from our TF2 league. The top two teams. Now, what's going to be happening is four teams are going to play off to see who will be going. The four teams is Froyotech, Exertus, Classic Mixup, and Street Hoops. Now, what will happen is... What is, okay, what will happen, not what will happen. What is happening is they're trying to make a fundraiser so it'll help the players get the money to go to Europe for the I-52. Now, for the last tournament, we uh, our North American team came third, I believe, and the Europeans took the crown, sadly. But... In the I-46, we sent two North American teams over, and we s we won first and second. Now, what I'm really excited for is to see the matches between them. And because it's a LAN now, there will be nothing about ping latency, nothing about that. It will be all just pure skill, nothing about FPS drops, just be everything. Now, what uh, there's some prizes if you do... If you do donate, I believe it's ten dollars for a forum badge. You can also get a signed weapon, a strange weapon of any of the two teams of the finalist members. Now, that is, uh, I think, I think that is fifteen dollars. I believe it is fifteen dollars. Okay, I just realized I was actually wrong. It's um seven dollars for the forum badge, nineteen dollars for a signed strange item. 25 to go into the unusual raffle of a tyrant helm purple energy that is it's been worn by so many top players in the league and i would love to love it now the next one is 35 dollars and you get all three of those things 65 you can either have a t-shirt and trading card with all those things 125 dollars is everything all of it, even the t-shirt and the trading cards. 225 is having the trading cards and the shirt signed by one of the top players in TF2. Now, personally, I think those, those itself is amazing. And as well as, you're helping to send a team over to Europe, and I think, or two teams over to Europe. And what's really great about this is that... Even if we do raise how much they want us to raise, which is twelve thousand dollars, and we're at five thousand right now, even if they win the tournament, they'll still be in the red. They'll still have to pay money from their pocket. Now, that's what that's why I really wanted to make this video, because I felt that if they're gonna still be in the red, that I wanna get as many people as I can to even show that I support them. And as well as they're I, I love watching competitive TF2 personally. My I, I, I don't know about my friends, but personally I love to watch it. I don't know about you, I don't know about anyone else. But it's just something that I really like to do. And I hope you guys will also like to donate for them. They're at five thousand eight hundred and twenty nine and they still have 30 days left until the campaign is over. In those 30 days, I think, I think that we can raise, not us, but like in everyone, everyone out there will raise above 12,000. So now I'm just going to put all the links in the description for you guys to check them out and all that. Now, for the other topic was the Highlander Open is starting. Now, it's a way for 
people who are who haven't really played competitive or anything to get competitive. Now, if you don't know what Highlander is, it is literally one of every single class versus another team of one of every single class. So what 99. Now, if you get first place, you get plus 9 class specific kill streak kits. Second place, class specific strange weapons. Uh, third place, class specific cosmetic items. And then every participant gets just nothing pretty much. But like, you know what I mean. Now, is it you need like a team of sorts, I think, I believe, and I think it's a really cool way for uh, bringing people in to TF2 competitive. And if you didn't know, uh, there's there's six v six open, which is I think I believe would be a little bit more competitive than Highlander, but at the same time, it's still pretty pretty cool. Now, as you play hundreds of people may be watching you is a possibility now as well as it it's a lot of fun i've played some highlander before i've played some 6v6 before and it's really a lot of fun especially if you play with your friends and i believe this is a really cool way for everyone to get into tf2 and i think with everything that's adding everything that's coming up that this these thing like that TF2 is going to start to grow again. And that's all from me for today, I believe. I'll leave all the links below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.